try to balance everything with my son, um, my husband and myself. We try to make sure that DJ is not just in the room and, you know, watching movies. He gets out and he sees, you know, things in New York or LA or Chicago or Atlanta, wherever we may be. Um, we have a nanny and we also have um, my mom that travels with us when I travel. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Working, traveling, DJ, my husband working. One day, that is a fantasy life of mine. I would love to do that, but, you know, maybe in 10 years. I would love to have more kids in 10 years now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be that far from now, but yeah. Well, respect for sure, it's respect on women. Um, and respecting himself and learning and going to school. Um, I, I think that my husband definitely went to college, but I didn't go to college. Um, and so, and I was adopted, my biological mother, you know, I've been around that. So trying to keep that stuff away from him as much as possible. And also just, you know, raising him to be a great man. I mean, his father is here. He's going to do a good job with that. So I'm, I'm very, very positive gonna work it out. Love me. He buys me really nice bags too. Um, but besides that, he buys lots of diamonds. No, um, we can tell. I have to <laughs> he's really good though. He's, you know, he's good at making me smile. And, and um, I mean, he has a beautiful smile. So when he smiles, I smile. But, um, you know, just trying to make me feel that even when I'm stressed, I think that he really makes me feel comfortable knowing that he's there for me. So, I mean, that that always makes me happy. Just having him around is, is a great thing. I don't think that we're normal, uh, a normal celebrity couple. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because I'm not a normal girl. And I don't think my husband is either. And his mother and his father are amazing people and raised him to be an amazing man. Um, and then I come from nothing and, you know, been through the things that I've been through. And I cherish him a great deal. And I don't think that I would allow anything to come in between us. I would try my hardest not to. And I feel the same about my husband. And we really love our son. And so, you know, that was gonna have a really, really hard time trying to break that. Yeah, I do. I definitely um, try to be around Gib as much as possible when he's playing, um, and especially with DJ. You know, I think it's it's really crucial to have DJ around and critical to have him around his father at this time. You know, he needs to be around his dad. So I feel like um, we shall see though with this album. The last album was a little different. I was able to change up my schedule and make sure that we, you know, stayed at home for, for some of, most of the, the um, season. Um, but I would like to go overseas this time. So, of course, we're gonna make sure we stay at home a lot, but, you know, I gotta go over there and, and, and work. But he knows this, of course. When I ask him to get me something and he doesn't listen to what I ask, when I tell him where it's at, and then he goes in there and he says, I don't see it. Then I go to the same place I told him where to look, and it's there. Yeah, it's kind of. And he makes a fort noise when I walk sometimes. It's really aggravating. He makes a what? Fort noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good.